John Eustace has made an opening statement since departing from our beloved football club, Birmingham City. So buckle up, get comfy and stick around for today's new video. <laughs> watching my new channel the boy in blue so before we get into it i just want to say a massive thank you to all my new subscribers i started this channel just for a bit of fun and just to create some positivity towards the project in birmingham city because i think our club now is going in a positive direction granted we've had a new manager but we have to stay positive and i think at the minute we're going in a positive direction so i just want to say a massive thank you to those who have subscribed i started this channel within a week and I've already got like 18 subscribers so I just want to say a massive thank you again for showing your continued support it really does mean a lot and it does give me the boost and the morale to keep producing some positive content so thank you very much so without further ado let's get into today's video as we all know as Blues fans it's been a bit of a roller coaster, especially this week with the announcement of John Eustace's departure he was unfortunately sacked from the board of Birmingham City Football Club. And within just a few days after the very well kept secret of the arrival of our new gaffer, Wayne Rooney. From my own experiences from reading things on the media, on the news, to social media platforms, I can say that it hasn't been easy for a lot of Blues fans, with a lot of us in doubt, and some like myself, who choose to remain positive regardless. And also being optimistic regarding with what's happened over the last week or so, with John Eustace now gone and being replaced with our new gaffer, Wayne Rooney. With recent events following the awesome news, having new owners investing in our club, I kind of expected it. It was only a matter of time, not if, but when John Eustace was gone. As a lot of you already may know, that when new owners tend to invest in a football club, they then tend to bring their own people in, i.e. managers, to captain and guide the sailing ship. Despite feeling it was only a matter of time before John Eustace had gone, I wasn't angry. I was more a little upset because I thought he was a really good manager. But I think I was more upset because I personally thought I saw John as like a father figure to the players with a bond like no other. But with all the emotions running high with John Eustace at the same time, I was excited about Wayne Rooney. I will always support and back my club regardless. If whatever tough decisions that they have to make. So the purpose of today's video, I think, was to personally thank John via doing this video for the amazing work that he put into our club. We were in a bad place when John had taken over, where we faced many difficult challenges. As a club, as fans alike, with financial difficulties and, at the time, the possibility of Birmingham City being relegated into League One. Since John's reign at Blues, I feel that he steered our club into a more positive light by keeping us up last season, finishing 17th in the Championship. To the amazing start we had at the start of this current season, resulting in Blues having a positive spot, closing in on the playoff position in the Championship. With the new owners taking over and pumping positive financial contributions to a record of 13 signings this transfer window alone to help benefit the club and John of his managing career of his Blues venture. So from myself, going from a couple of games this season already, I really thought that John had a passion for the club and the players. This didn't really hit home for me up until seeing our last great result at West Bromwich Albion, which was 3-1 during that game, and especially the last goal Blues scored. The camera pans to John and his reaction is like no other. John is then seen jumping for joy, pointing at the players, the squad, and also the Blues fans as well. Banging his chest on the Blues badge, whilst waving his hands up and down to boost the support and morale. That in itself for me, just showed the kind of man and manager that John was. Passionate about Blues as a whole, from the club, to the players and the supporters, and seeing that was more than enough for me in itself. So from me, personally John, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your services at Birmingham City Football Club and to wish you all the success in the coming future. And from what I've seen, to me, you will always be a blue. But I also think that, from also seeing John's emotions, I feel as though that he knew deep down 
that he was on the way out. Since hearing the news of John's departure, I was wondering whether John would make a statement regarding his departure from Birmingham City. And I thought that it all happened so quick with John going and then Wayne Rooney coming in. I was still wondering and hoping if John would make a statement. Well, yesterday, that day had finally came and I was so happy and relieved that John had made a statement. When I saw it announced, it popped up on my phone, on my news feed. It said that John Eustace had made a statement on his departure from Birmingham City Football Club. It read that John said, I would like to thank the players that went out onto the pitch every week and fought for each other with a kind of togetherness and spirit of which Birmingham City Football Club is all about. As for the fans, you've been amazing. I wanted to bring that connection back between you and the team and I feel like that we did that. You supported us through the good times and through the tough times. You never lost faith and your loyalty and the passion has been outstanding. It has been an honour and privilege to have served the fans and the club in the city where I was born and grew up. I leave with a heavy heart. However, I would like to wish everyone at the football club huge success in the future. John! Why are you doing this to me? I've literally only just got over your departure. But oh my, what a nice statement that was. Massive respect for me, John. But I have to say, lucky for you, I thought you were brilliant at Blues from last season, especially starting this season as well. Your CV and job will soon be snapped up. So again from me, John, up the Blues, keep right on. So it's the end of another era at Blues, but on to the next chapter we go. I'm so glad to hear from Big John Eustace. So on to Rooney we go, back the club, back the board. It's going to be a long, exciting road, but it's our time. I think we're on the up. So be positive like me and have faith. And most importantly of all, keep right on. So guys, Blues fans, thanks for watching if you got this far. Please hit the like button on this video. Subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. On the next video, we're going to be discussing Blues and Middlesbrough. And I've got some other, uh, some other content coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, just please show your continued support. I've only started this channel like over like a week or so. And you're... Your support is amazing. It's given me the confidence to boost my morale, to try and create some of that positive content towards my favourite football club, Birmingham City. But we have to remain positive. So I'll see you on the next video.